Hey guys, even here, so the pre-judging of the Arnold Classic 2024 Open Division just went down and we got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna take my time to do a little deep analysis of this show, try to figure out who's gonna place where, but I think I got a pretty good idea. So, of course, in the middle, top two, Samson and Hardy, this was very predictable. These two guys had a two-man call-out, actually multiple times, I don't even know how many times, like three or four times. We're gonna check that out and try to figure out who is winning the show, but those guys are definitely top two. Now, as far as the second and third, I believe Rafael Brandao is very firmly in that third spot. You're gonna see later in the second call-out, he is in the center. Now, as far as the fourth and fifth and sixth, that's where it gets so tough. We're gonna try to analyze this pose by pose, so let's get into it. We're gonna do the second call-out first, then we're gonna do the first call-out, and in the end, we're gonna do the last call-out as well. So like I said, in the center of the second call-out, we do have Rafael Brandau. And they're not gonna move him from that spot. For those of you who were saying that James Hollins here is gonna be much bigger than Rafael, and you know who I'm talking about, you guys were wrong. Rafael is just as big as anybody in this call-out. He's even matching Akim Williams, for God's sake. So this guy is not small now, especially after the offseason with Neil Hill. He added so much muscle, the conditioning is very good. Maybe he's a tad bit less sharp than before, but he is bigger, a lot bigger. And it really works in his favor. And with his aesthetics, I think this guy can be like top six in the Mr. Olympia. But yeah, he is very firmly in the third spot right here. And like I said, it gets very tough when you try to figure out who's gonna be 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. So yeah, Kim was originally in the last callout. So I'm assuming because of that, he's the last guy in this callout. But honestly, after reviewing this callout, I feel like Akim has a chance of beating one of these guys. Maybe, maybe that's gonna be Anton Wendt. I'm not sure, probably not, but it's a possibility. I'm actually pretty sure that fourth place is gonna be John De La Rosa. I'm gonna tell you why exactly in a second, you're gonna figure it out by yourself. But as for right now, based on the way they look, John really brought really good conditioning. Like, he's peeled. You're gonna see from behind as well. I mean, especially from behind. Like, he is peeled head to toe. Antoine, also the best version of himself, the best conditioning ever. But he's a little bit slim in some parts in the upper body. I would say glutes as well. He doesn't have enough thickness, if you ask me. That's why I think James is probably gonna place ahead of him. And there is another reason why I think that. If there were no back shots, he would be third. If there were only side poses, he would win the show. His back poses are really holding him back big time. And now you're gonna see exactly what I mean. And also pay attention to John De La Rosa, how shredded he is from the back. I think Rafael is a little bit, you know, softer, especially compared to John De La Rosa, but like he's big, he has big legs as well, very wide, and he has a better back than Anton, for example. Uh, James has a lot of details in the back, but like not the widest shoulders. So yeah, I feel like Rafa's got this, and Akim, I don't know what happened to his back, it's worse than ever. It atrophied completely, it might be an injury or something. Anton's back is washed up, there are no details, that's why James is gonna place above him. So as far as my top 5, I still have the same order, actually, I'm just switching John De La Rosa and Horse MD. So it turned out that Horse MD was just a hype, he's definitely not in very good condition, you're gonna see him in a second. But John De La Rosa really surprised, I mean, I knew he was gonna be super shredded, but like, I didn't expect him to be this much more shredded than everybody else. And yeah, his legs are smaller, and that's why he's not placing higher, like, third, but he's beating a lot of good bodybuilders here, because he really brought good conditioning, really, really good peak, thanks to Patrick Tour, his coach. Here they moved James in the middle, right next to Rafa, so they weren't sure about that, they thought maybe Antoine, in the very first call-out, Antoine actually seemed like he could be top 5, but I think he faded somehow, and, you know, James surpassed him. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Antoine is not gonna be in that top 5, James is gonna be instead. But since they weren't so sure who's gonna be, Antoine or James, then I believe John is firmly in fourth. And I think James just now made it in the top 5, and I think he should be there. I think he's better than Antoine, just thicker, bigger, especially in the upper body. And especially from the back, not just the back itself, but like the glutes, the hamstrings as well. 
Here you can see Akeem again, like, not very good. Raphael has the width and the mass of the lower body. John probably has the, I mean, definitely has the best back here. The best conditioning from the back as well, but not the best ties. You know, that's where he's a little bit uh, slight. And side tricep, that's Akeem Williams all days, both side shots, Akeem is just so good in those, like I said, if there were only two shots, side chest and side tricep, this guy probably beats everybody here in those two shots, but it's not enough, I think he's gonna be out of top 5, most likely 7th place here. Ok, now let's take a look at the top 2 and try to figure out who is winning this, so the first thing that pops to my eyes when I look at this is Samson's silhouette. It's crazy, look at this, look at a tiny freaking small waist, it just draws so much attention, also like you can say officially right now that he became cartoonish, this really reminds me of Flex Wheeler back in the day, just bigger, a lot bigger, how much his freaking quads are popping out, how much his arms are big compared to his waistline, I mean the proportions of this guy are just silly, silly. And I'm not saying that Hadi is any worse, I mean, he doesn't have the best silhouette maybe, but like, the details in the quads, he's probably wider in the shoulders, and like, his abs are very good, and uh, overall he's just definitely more conditioned, so, you know, this one is extremely tough, it's basically a guessing game, because it's apples and oranges, you know, Samson has really crazy cartoonish freaking shape, insane proportions, but Hardy is just shredded, hard like a rock, you know, Samson is not on that level of conditioning, so it's really apples and oranges, but let's try to analyze this pose by pose, so the front double bicep I give to Samson, because of his insane proportions, as for the front lat, I give it to Hardy because of the better abdominal control, and that's pretty much it, Samson also has a great silhouette in this one, but I don't like the way he's not controlling the abs, now in the side poses, ah, this is getting really tough, Samson is really good, he's probably better in the side poses, but Hadi has that crazy conditioning, crazy details in the side leg and everywhere, basically. Now as far as the back shots, yeah, Hadi's got this, his back is improved, it's better, but then again, like Samson, I think he also improved his back a lot, I think it's improved even more than Hadi improved it, but yeah, both of these guys actually managed somehow to improve their backs, I think Hadi is in better conditioning here than he was at the Mr. Olympia, I can definitely see more separation in the glutes, just tighter skin, you know, like thinner skin, and also the back, I think back looks better mainly because he's in better conditioning, you know, I think he's so detailed because he just has less body fat, I don't think he really grew that back that much, but whatever it is, his back looks better, now as far as Samson, I think his back is better, and as this uh, top 2 goes along, they did a couple of rounds, I think his back just gotten tighter and tighter later, but let's go back, like way back to the question that we were wondering this entire Arnold Classic prep, you guys if you follow my channel you know I did a thousand videos basically about the Arnold Classic, and every time I spoke about Samson I said, is he gonna bring the new level of conditioning, because we were kinda waiting for that, and did that happen? No, 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 I think this conditioning is a little bit better than Mr. Olympia, it's probably not better than the Arnold Classic uh, from last year, maybe similar, but this is not like the next level of conditioning, it's good enough, I guess, you know, with the size and with the shape and proportions, he can still pull a win, but did he bring like really good conditioning that we were waiting for, no, no, and Hadi, Hadi brought what we expected, you know, he came in sharp, he came in hard, full, you know, he looks really good, so yeah, again, apples and oranges, if the judges go for shape and proportions, then it's gonna be Samson, if they do whatever they're doing at the Arnold Classic, if they choose the more aesthetic, the more classic guy, but if they judge this as a regular show, as any show, then, you know, I think Hadi is more likely to win, because he's just more conditioned, and he's not really lacking any size, you know, he's very hard, very full, very big, developed, complete, but also more conditioned, but he's not cartoonish, you know, he's not super insane with proportions, he has better abdominal control, I think that's giving a lot of points to Hadi, because especially the Arnold, they're really marking guys down if they don't really control the midsections, so if I'm gonna try and not be biased, I gotta say it, I gotta say the words that I say every time I see a distended midsection, I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of Samson and of Milo Sharchev, of course, 
But I gotta say, Samson is kind of starting to form a little bit of a bubble gut. It was tough for me to say it about Samson, but it's true. You can see it in a lot of poses. He needs to work on improving midsection control. I don't know how much will it hurt him, but you know, it's visible, it's there. Finally, let's take a look at this pose once again. Like I said, as the prejudging went along, Samson's back has gotten harder, right? Yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. We'll see, it's really tough to guess right now, but this is definitely the top two. I really think it can go either way. Whichever the way judges go, they're not gonna be wrong. Anything is possible at this moment. Both of these guys are looking really amazing. It's apples and oranges. It depends on what you prefer or what the criteria is. If the criteria is different at this show, what do you guys think? Tell me down below. Now, let's take a look at a third callout, the last callout. So, like I said, Horse MD did not bring it. His conditioning was not very good. It was definitely better at Romania Pro. I was looking at his photos that Milos posted these days and I thought, well, he's not exactly very lean, but maybe Milos is gonna pull something out in the last moment, dry him out, and it's gonna be enough. But no, no, it didn't happen. As for this call out right here, you guys already know, Akim went to the second call out, and uh, here, I mean, Justin is humongous. He's really good in the side shots, but his waist is just not very good. I guess Horse MD is probably uh, winning this call out if you don't consider Akim. And then it's probably Muhammad Cheban and Justin last spot so that's the way i see it right now take a look at horse in this back like also very very bad just as akim's so yeah this guy definitely has a lot more improvements to make uh, before he lives up to his hype so at this point it's pretty safe to say that horse md is mainly hype yeah anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bodybuilding content and a lot of Arnold classic coverage finals is tomorrow and then after that is my favorite part it's post show talk there is a lot of stuff to talk about after the show is done so if you are interested in that kind of content guys please subscribe to this channel like this video once again if you enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye